think it's I wonder yeah, how I'm that's not, gonna affect the ranking. I'm not sure, yeah, I'm not sure either. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Regardless of what rank it is, I mean, I don't think we really like turned throughout this event to like, oh, you know, like we're an A tier. We're just like, hey, we want to see some international talent. And we brought them out. You know, the people who were able to come out, they were reached, they were uh, contacted. And if, you know, they were able to come, they came. If not, you know, they, they, uh, they're in talks for another event in the future. But. I mean, you know what? That's why I love about TG is that they're putting a lot of money into the scene. I yeah, feel absolutely. like, you know what? TG does a whole lot of work for the scene. I feel like they go underappreciated for a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, understandably so. There's, uh, you know, as a new organization, we've made like a lot of mistakes coming in. Right. But they are listening and right. taking the steps to make things better, like such as bringing on this entire team as myself and a bunch of other right. really talented individuals. I feel uh, like their their marketing at the beginning, like their PR. It was in shambles. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Like it was not good. Like they they did not start off on the right foot. But you know, I feel like TG has been learning from their mistakes, getting a little bit better. Yeah, and no, they're they're growing as an organization. And if they're you ever real. have the chance to come through to Long Beach, check out one of the events, be sure to come by. If you're in town for tomorrow, come through tomorrow. You can get a spectator pass there, 30 bucks for this weekend's event. But right now, we do have Razo and Shuton, and we're down to two stocks apiece. You know what, Shuton just doing so much damage with all this Pikmin, but Razo, like, he's just been trying to find his way in, but Shuton just so small, so tiny, it's kind of hard to land when your character is like that small and like that low to the ground, you know? It just messes up like, okay, when do I throw out my aerial? How am I gonna land safely? How am I gonna approach this character? Because if I don't approach the character right, I'm just gonna run into a forward smash just like that. Right there, Shuton taking a really solid right here, spot dodging through the crab, really good uh, awareness from Razo, knowing exactly what option was going to come from Shuton. And oh my god, that damage output from Shuton, like, I feel like Razo was at like 20% at one stage of the scene, and then by the time he got to the other side, he ate like 60%. Shuton is just so explosive with all this damage, and he you know, reads the roll in, gets the back air, that could be it, yeah, that cleans up that stock nice and quick. Nice. Raza, who did Raza play in the winner's final? Raza played Nitro to get the winner's finals, and he played Raito in... Raito, that's yeah. who it was, right? Right before winner's finals, right? Yeah. Or winner's quarters. In winner's quarters. So yeah. winner's quarters, it was Raito. In winner's semis, it was Nitro and Alan winner's finals. Yeah. So, Raza, Shuton. Yeah, so it's right now, it's Raza and Shuton. Uh, Three, two, and... He and he versus Nitro. Yep. So here we go. I mean, yet again, both players trying to start off like strong, but you know what? I feel like Shuton is just so much more comfortable in the matchup than Razo is. I feel like if you haven't seen I'm Hip in a while, you know, kind of just falling off the face of the planet after the All Marker. Yeah, he's still hanging out in the IAE. I know he's still going to stuff out there. He, he, He's going to enough stuff to get ranked right. out there, yeah. so. But like you can tell, like, I'm hip was like easily like top five player in a region. Yeah, like even I eat, he's like ranked like third or fourth. Like yeah. it's something like criminally low for yeah. what I believe I'm hip was capable of. I mean, I guess all of our nerves hit a little lot harder than I expected. Yeah, I think he probably. I mean, I think more so than like that nerves actually hit hard is that he probably just, like, fell out. Who, who knows what his life situation is like. Nonetheless, Shuton taking the first stock with the up throw right here. Razo not too far behind, setting up for an edge guard. Ooh, and, you know, I tried getting in the back air, but you know what, not gonna be able to find it. Gets him off stage, throws up the turnip. You know, and that's the interesting thing about uh, Olimar is that you have so much mobility in that up that you can kind of mix up how and when and that what's you put him in the way. You know, so it's up to the peach player to kind of like pick and guess, so like, okay, are you gonna go here now? And then, like, throw out an aerial and like, hope he gets right. And Raza just backing it up, man. I mean, when you got a big booty, you got to <laughs> use that big booty. That's what I'm saying, dude. Backing it up all the way, putting it in this. I mean, he's short already, so, like, booty's already in the face. But, like, yeah. here, have some more. <laughs> I mean, let's be real here. That booty is, like, extra thick with how big that hitbox is. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, that, that, <laughs> that booty hits in front of him. It hits, like, three miles behind him. Like... It does so much. It auto cancels. It, it does 
every it day. It's a big hitbox. That's how I'm going to talk about my fiance's booty. <laughs> it's a big hitbox. Oh, oh, baby, you, you know, got such a big hitbox. Oh, my God. Damn. You know, it's like she took the, the Patrick uh, butt, the butt stamp thing, and then, like, all night long, just, like, doing the, 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 the butt thing. Oh, right. my God. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it is shoot home in, in Japanese. Yeah. I don't speak Japanese. So. Yeah, and again, there's the down air and trying going for the read on the tech roll, but not gonna find it in time. And you know what? Ooh, yo, just stuffing out that side beat with the Pikmin. And Arazo has the edge guard, but you know what? Finds the dare as he tries to jump from ledge. And you know what? Finds another dare and he's just keeping it off stage. Ooh, and he'll, let's go. You know what? Like, Shutong was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go back, try going the same plan because I have no other way to go. And Roz was just like, okay, I know you don't have another jump, so this side B is either you get hit by this or you air dodge and die. Alright, Roz 118. He gets grabbed right here the blue Pikmin. Not gonna be enough, but I mean like blue Pikmin in the lineup and you know, only at 28%. Shoot told just needs to find one more grab oh! or a back air. That'll do it. Either or. Yep. Taking game number two, Razo left with one final opportunity right here to turn his momentum around and uh, do something right here against Shutan to put it one at least one game on the board. So far, he's been like being taken apart slowly and methodically by Shutan. It's pronounced Shutan. I promise. Three, two, one, Here we go. Game go. three. Opening up with the Pikmin. And you know what? I feel like the name of this game has just been like, Razo's trying to go through his game plan. But the Pikmin are like, they're a projectile and a sword in the same, like, function, you know? Like, oh. So that's like, that's like two things that like Peach kind of struggles against. Damn, okay, and that was not okay, bro. He like, Crossed up with the backer and that actually got him a grab. Like that was just like frame top, frame traps on air dot traps on like, man, what? That was crazy. And again, you know, tempting him to pick an option with those down tilts. You know, shoot on just jumping away from ledge and getting a punish instead. You no know, two purples and a white. He has super damage on deck right now. And again, so. Wow, he actually managed to grab through the up smash. You know, usually all more like to go for that up smash block dodge uh, forward smash. Yeah. So kind of mixing things up, and you know, Razo kind of capitalizes on that. Gets a bear off stage, he's off stage, you know, how he's going to handle this, but Shutong goes high to avoid any uh, dare stand in the ledge, and North sneaks in that back air and finds the kill. Yeah, I'm going to be dropping first stock here to Shutong. That's like not what you want to do, especially not after being down 2-0. Now he's forced to fight from behind. Whoa, he just slid across the stage with the uh, side beat. One throw, forward air. The purple picture too, adding up even more damage. And you know what? All these damages coming out from Shuton, it's just, this is going to be so hard for Razo to catch up. Every time he wants to get in, you know, Shuton has a Pikmin in hand waiting for him, you know? Oh, Ooh. wow. Huffed over the down smash right. and hits a bear in, you know, man, he's sneaking that stock. Yeah, that was really smart from Razo, just patiently waiting in shield until he noticed the uh, down smash, just jump over it, and get the KO. Wow, I'm amazed at how, like, Indeed, Razo was able to go and to avoid all those uh, aerials from Shuton. It's interesting because you see Razo using a lot of side beam right here, and you might think, dang, gee, like Razo really likes that move, but it, it really is matchup dependent. And in this matchup, when you side B, you can uh, you can contest the Pikmin tosses, right? right. Pikmin, uh, Olimar's side B, he's throwing out uh, Pikmin, he just bounce off of the Pikmin in order to like then land or throw out another side B. And or just like reset your, neutral, yeah, basically. Exactly. You know what? This is Razo's last stock. He really needs to turn it up and you know, find this edge guard, find this kill before Shuzon just steals away for a game three and a quick trio and a handshake. I, I, I like the attempt right there because you know, a lot of Olmars like to go for a pigment toss at ledge just to like kind of cover their, their get up option. And you know what? It's an even game at this point, but you know what? He gets the up smash and the up air, and now within 30%, gets another fair, and that's another like 20% off of that. Oh my god. It just, all this damage keeps on racking up, and I love that. Using the dare to cross up the shield and the nair to cover the out of shield option. 
Ramos looking very dire for Raza right here. 108% on the last stock. That purple Pikmin waiting the sour spot. The side beat toss, putting him off stage. Gets the grab, gets the bear, but no, he doesn't get the bear. Oh my gosh, Shukon just barely denying it perfectly. Gets a bear off stage. No, he really is to find the stock right now, but no, the purple Pikmin is going to fail him out of that edge guard. Monique, man, he's got those big hits. She hasn't got a big head. But... Oh my god, now you see Omar just going in for those aerials, and Raza was making a comeback, but come back too little too late, unfortunately. Yeah. Taking a 3-0 victory over Raza. Raza taking a dip into the loser's bracket. I'm not sure who he's fighting down there, but I mean, wouldn't be surprised to see him climb his way all the way back up to right. uh, Grant. I mean, at this point, it is... The only people left in the game are T and Nitro, and then the winner plays is Razo, and the winner of that plays Shuto. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pull one of you guys for. Uh, but, but, to the but. You can uh, you can stay on. I'm gonna all right. I'm gonna I gotta go pee. I gotta go. You've been uh, commentating all night. Nah, we we commentated the same amount. 